The first step in using GitHub is setting up a GitHub account. And you do that by first navigating to GitHub. And once you do that, the home screen actually has a way for you to actually sign up for GitHub. And so let's do that now. So let's use our Tech Innovator account to do this. So we're going to be called Tech Innovator. And that's our username. So that's what other users are going to see when we commit code and a few other steps along the way. Your email address will be techinnovator at iCloud.com, the account we set up for us to uh, use our Mac and do some iOS development. And our password. We're not going to tell you that. Are we good? Yes, we're good. So we're going to sign up for GitHub. And for our purposes, we're going to use uh, a public repository set, and they're free. Um, Public repositories let you publish code publicly, and if you need private ones, then you're going to have to pay some amount per month. Right. So let's use the free one and just click continue at the bottom of the screen. And then it asks you to tailor your experience. So let's say we are somewhat experienced. What do we plan to use it for? Let's click everything that applies. Project management and development, and let's state what we actually are in our personal life. I'm a professional and let's click submit and now it actually begins by giving you a tutorial on how to use github and git so before we do anything I think there's a couple of settings we had to look at in our own profile so if we go up to the icon and go to your profile um, I guess it wasn't profile I guess we go to settings yeah so over on the left side, we see where it says emails. Um, so right now we have a, that we, it says, please verify an email address to collaborate. And one of the great reasons for using GitHub is to do collaboration. So we notice that it says here uh, that a verification email has been sent. And lo and behold, look at this, there's one waiting for us. So let's click on the verify email address. And now that should be verified. I'm going to go back to this other page and refresh. Good. So that email address is verified. Um, there is a checkbox down here that says keep my email address private. We don't want to do that. And in, uh, let's see, isn't there a place to, like, I'm worried about, like, visibility. If I remember correctly, in order for other people to add us, we need to make sure that our account is available for others to see. As long as our email is public, they will actually be able to add us to projects. So it says here, this email will be used as a from address for web-based GitHub operations. And this is our pri primary email address. Um, do we have to click save? No, I guess no. that's only if we choose a different one. We can have a backup email address. Um, and we definitely don't want keep my email address private clicked. So I think we're good. The um, So that's the first step. And now we have a GitHub account that we can use.